Hello and welcome folks. Today I will be going over a Pico CTF challenge. I actually recorded myself doing one of these problems and it turns out my microphone wasn't on the entire time. So I'm actually just going to kind of review what I did. So I'm going to not hide what I solved and I'm searching for something called shop. Here it is. It is involving reverse engineering and it says best stuff, cheap stuff, buy, buy, buy. And it gives you this store instance and you can click on this. It like downloads a source file or something. So uh, I don't want to do that on my computer. I want to use like the, the shell that they give us. I want to open this web shell and open it in a new window. I need to sign in so you can go ahead and do that. Great. I want to control L to clear that. And so what I ended up doing for this is I first copy this link address. So I'm going to say W get and then control shift V to paste it. And that will download the file. So now I have the source file uh, called it's called source and it is an ELF 32 bit executable file. So it's actually like an executable file. Apparently you can kind of decompile and figure it out. I didn't do that when I was going through it. Uh, I didn't really need to because of the second part here. So it says the shop is open for business and you can actually go to this, see what's going on there. So we're going to just copy and paste that in control shift V and see what they have. And it says, welcome to the market. You have 40 coins and you can buy quiet quiche, average apple, fruitful flag. And that is the flag effectively. And you can also sell an item and you have coins to use it to buy and sell with. The hint that I saw here was always check edge cases when programming. I did not find this helpful the way I did it because I didn't actually look at the source code. I just kind of played around with this application you have 40 coins so i can buy quiet quiches i guess so i'm going to choose the option zero that's what i want to buy how many do i want to buy i want to buy with 40 coins and a price of 10 i can buy four so it says okay i have zero coins now i will essentially have four quiches so i can check that by trying to sell an item choosing option three here oh i have a count of four here i have zero average apple and zero fruits and i could sell the quiches like i want to sell zero and i want to sell four of them and effectively get 40 coins back. So the first thing that I was toying with was this idea, and I've seen this kind of thing before, where if you use a negative number, you can try and buy a negative amount and see if that works. So for quiet quiche, I'm going to go zero. I want to buy negative 10 of those. And it didn't break. Like it's giving me 140 coins because it's like under the hood doing some math without checking to see if this number even makes sense. So I now have 140 coins. I could now buy the flag. So I'm going to say choose option two. I want to buy the flag. How many do I want? I just want one and I have enough money. So and booyah, you can get the flag that way. And so now I have to like kind of copy this. And uh, I need to get out. So I'm just going to control V to oh, sorry, control C to get out of that. All right, control L to clear that. And I'm going to go to Python because that's what I know. So I'm going to go into Python land here. So these numbers look kind of similar. They look like ASCII characters if they were in number form. So if you use the function car and put like a number like 90, it gives you like Z. So this list of numbers that I just copied, I want to store s equals and control shift v and that is it and so i want to s dot split that to get like the them in, in you know individual form so i want that s dot split i want them to be integers though so i want them specifically to be like a character so let me see let me do car and inside of that for c in the split turn them so first let me see if i do int on C, I get like a list of numbers. And if I do car on that int, I should get characters. And if I take that list and I do dot join, I can join them on. Oh, wait, no, I think it goes the other way. I need to do a string dot join parentheses the list, which is kind of weird. And that will give you the flag. So that's how I ended up doing it. I did not actually go through the file, the source file and like figure out how to do that. Apparently that's something you could have done and like looked at the logic to see what was broken about the program. Let me copy that, put that in here, submit the flag and I already solved it, but yeah, that's, that's how I ended up with that. So if this is the kind of content you enjoy, please make sure to like subscribe, do all the good things and I'll see you next time.